Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Make a little shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, please. One. Subscribe. Two. Like. Share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Three. Like. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Four. Subscribe. All right. Our lesson for today is what are the parts and function of a circle? And this is for Mathematics 7, third quarter. And this is your teacher, Marife Adonis. So we have the vocabulary. So we will know about circle, the center of the circle, arc, wages, diameter, court, central angle, and sector. So we have the parts of a circle and its function. A circle is a set of all points in a plane that are the same distance from a given point called the center of a circle. This distance is called the radius of the circle. A circle is named by its center. For example, if point A is the center of a circle, then the name of the circle is Circle A. There are special names for different parts of the circle. So this circle is named as Circle A. Okay, so we have here this whole part. We call it circumference. The circumference of a circle is a distance around uh, around the, the outside of a circle. So this is a circumference. And we have here the diameter. The diameter of a circle is a distance from one side to another to other passing through the center of the circle. A chord is a line touching the circumference of a circle at points. So we have here a chord. And this is the radius. Radius is the line connecting the center of the circle and the circumference. Okay, we have here the arc. Parts of a circle named by its point. Yeah, so this is the arc. And this is the radius. A radius is a line segment whose endpoints are the center of the circle and any point in the circle. So this is the diameter of the circle. And this one is a chord. <clears throat> so a, line, a chord is a line segment whose endpoints are any two points on the circle. An arc is the part of the circumference at the edge of the circle. So this is the arc. A sector is a part of the circle between two radii and an arc. So we have here. Okay, so this is the sector. Okay. A segment is a part of the circle between a chord and an arc. Okay, so this is the segment. And this is the tangent. A tangent is a straight line which touches the circle at a point only. Okay, so this one is a tangent. Now, name the parts of a circle. So, let's identify what you're looking for. Name your starting point and name your ending point. Okay, so radii. Okay, so we have here... Uh, for a die, we have a segment M, M, N, M, N, then M, R, M, R, M, Q, and M, O. Q, 
Okay? So, these are what I And then we have diameter. Diameter we have NR and Q, uh, segment QO. It's QO. And the chords are NR, QO, QN, QN, and NP. So we call this, how did I or we know that Nank is a chord? Okay, so chord. So from the previous meaning, of course, you would know. Red eye is a floor form of reduce or radius. <clears throat> a floor of radius. Okay, let's have here. Name the parts of this angle M or the circle M. So we have the red eye. Yeah. What the red eye are? GB. Then GA. GF. GD. Okay, and the diameters are BF. Okay, BF and AD. And the chords are uh, AH, AB, CE, BF, and AD. Actually, all of these are chords. These are segments that's part of the circle. Okay, so let us continue. Read the problem. Identify the percentage of the sector. Change the percentage to a decimal and multiply the decimal by 360 degrees. Okay, so here we have the circle graph shows the results of a survey about favorite types of muffins. Find the central angle measure of the circle that shows the person of people whose favorite type of muffin is blueberry. So we have here in this uh, circle, or circle graph, we have 40%, no? So 40% of people like blueberry. So if we're going to change that into a first a decimal, so that is 0 0.4 or 0 0.40. So if we're going to multiply it by, by 360, so we get here 0 and then um, 24, bring down 4, carry 2. So, 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2, 14. Okay, so we got 144. That means uh, this is about 144 degrees. And it's a, that means uh, it's the, the favorite uh, types of muffins of most people is flavor is uh, blueberry. All right. All right. So as the last part for our conclusion, we'll, we'll have this exercises. So name order or die. So we have a B A and B C. Okay. So that's it. So check. And then for diameter, so we have only one diameter, and that is uh, line segment AC. For the chords, so we have DF or DE, and we have FE, and we have AC. So these are chords. You know? Now, what is the measure of the center angle of a circle when the sector represents 25%? of the circle so if it's 25 percent 0.25 okay then multiply by 360 so we have 0 30 okay 5 times 315 plus 318 2 times 0 is 0 2 times 6 is 12 Bring down 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 1, 7. So we got 0, 0. Uh, 8 plus 6. No. Again, again. So 360 times 0 0.25. Malabo kasi yung pag ko. So we have 30. 33. 18. Ayan. Okay. Malinaw na. Then 0. We have 
12. Oh, this is 2 pala. So, we have 7. Then, 0, 0, 0. 8 plus 3 is 10. And then, we have 8. So, 1, 2. So, that is 80%. No? So, the sector is 80 degrees. Not present. Okay? So, 80 degrees. What is something you learned today about circles? So, circle has chords. Okay? And then... diameters and radii and it's about I learned about uh, the sector okay for questions and clarifications just write it at the comment section remember gratitude is the best attitude and before I go Subscribe. Two. Like. Share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Three. Like. Leave a comment, subscribe. Four, subscribe. All right. Make a love shout out to all my loyal friends, the Organic Barcadas, the Tawaitis International, and the Tim Solid family. May mga bagong kaibigan, may lumalayas, may umaalis, may dumadating, pero ang pagkakaibigan ay ganyan, no? parang bilog, no? parang circle na bilog. Pero guys, ang huwag natin uh, isipin, eh, lagi natin isipin ng tunay na kaibigan kahit saan man, kahit nung virtual man o yan. Sa isipin nyo na lang, puso nyo may nagmamahal sa inyo. Bye, everyone. Love you all.